Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So Valve did something really incredible for all the Linux gamers out there, and that was basically create something called Proton, which is a modified version of Wine, and Wine itself is a compatibility layer that will allow you to play Windows games and other Windows applications in Linux. And so this is something that I think a lot of Linux gamers were excited to have, I myself included. And this will allow us to play a lot of really big titles like Doom directly in Linux. Now there's definitely still a lot of games that don't work, but the simple fact that I could simply play a lot of these games that I couldn't before in Linux is something that I cannot complain about and I'm so happy that it, that is available. Now if you are not familiar with how this works, basically if you have a Steam account, you go to your settings under account, there is a check mark for beta participation. So once you choose that, you could go down to Steam Play, and here is where you could enable this Proton feature. And right now, at the time of this video, it's up to Proton 3.16-6 beta. However, I found that just using Proton 3.7-8 works better because that is more compatible with a lot of games out there. And so once you have that done, then you could actually try and play a lot of the games that you already have in your library. Now, before I get into all these other games, I think the big one that everybody wants to see and has shown before is actually Doom, and I'm gonna get into that, but let me talk about my own experiences just briefly about the ones that did work, okay? So, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon work, uh, which is one of my favorite games, but it doesn't really tax your system. Um, other things that kind of work uh, is uh, Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition, which is really fun. And I did try other games uh, like Strider, uh, that didn't work, and other things uh, like Yakuza. I even downloaded Yakuza down here. That didn't work as well, at least not right now. And so a lot of the titles that I tried, most of them didn't really work. And uh, let me show you a quick example. So if I try to start Yakuza, um, it tries to launch and it might take a while for you to get some of these errors, but I will get some type of error on here as well. So it says it's running, so there's nothing there, but then you'll get something like that, okay? Or in the case of Cuphead, where I would try to run it, I press play, and then it says it's running, and nothing happened so far. And normally I'll get some type of error message, uh, but not always. And so, yeah, nothing came up on that. But, yeah, it's just kind of hit or miss. Uh, you're going to have to try it out yourself uh, because it really depends on your machine and also the compatibility of the games that's currently there. Now, before I get into actually running Doom, I do want to go over some things first because these are some things that I ran into. And all of these issues mainly comes down to drivers and your graphics card that you are using. And so uh, if you actually go to the Steam community, you go to discussions, look for Linux, there's lots of things that talk about uh, Linux games and here's the 3.16 beta. But there's also other sites and I will leave links to this like ProtonDB, which basically lists uh, all Linux games that are currently working. This is a really great resource because a lot of people who are Linux gamers will report on this site what's working, what's not working, uh, which ones are working well, and so forth. And the most important thing is actually getting the drivers. Now, I will leave a link to this. This is really important. There's this thing called DXVK, and that's basically a Vulkan compatibility layer. And this was the problem that I had because I could not run Doom before. But once I went through this actual website and uh, basically updated my drivers, and it's basically using a, a modified version or more recent version, uh, of drivers for my graphics card, uh, things actually started working. Okay, so come to this particular link. Uh, this is a great resource. And actually, the actual GPU drivers that work is this one from uh, Paulo Miguel Diaz. And this is his site right here is Padoka. And so uh, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to add this PPA. And then once you uh, do your system update, it will now use these drivers for your graphics for the Mesa drivers okay so those are actually open source drivers that's actually how I was able to get Doom to work and uh, with no further ado let's go ahead and go to Doom now I am recording this whole thing uh, under a 2k resolution monitor which is what I have and so once you see this the graphic performance might not be 
top notch uh, because I'm actually screen recording and I am recording this in 2K. And if you are interested, here are my specs uh, just to show you what I'm working with. Uh, this is what I have. I have an Intel Core i7-6700K. I have 16 gigs of RAM and my GPU is my AMD RX 470. It does have four gigs of RAM and I am running this on SSDs. And as you can see here, there's my resolution 2560 by 1440. So that's what I'm working with hardware wise. So let's go ahead and start this. And I am thoroughly impressed <laughs> before I even get into this whole thing of how well this works. And it really gives me a lot of confidence in improvements to be made on Proton DB later on. So as you can see there, the screen came up. And I had no problems just playing this because uh, I myself am not a modern gamer. Uh, the type of games I usually play is uh, retro games. And so, uh, you know, just for the fact that I can play this, I'm already happy. But uh, for me, as long as it's above 30 frames per second, I'm pretty happy. You know, for people who are hardcore gamers, uh, that might not be good enough. So as you can see here, I have this running up on the top right. And so right now it is screen recording, but I will let you know that if I did run this under 1080p, I normally get a solid 60 frames per second on the hardware that I have. And so that is more than playable, at least for me. So let's go ahead and go to this Argent facility. And uh, as you can see here, I have this is like the advanced mode for, uh, I guess, performance. So you can see everything that's running here, OpenGL 4.5. Now, I didn't update this to use Vulkan or anything. Uh, so I'm just using the OpenGL. I know you could get better performance through Vulkan, but I just didn't want to spend my time doing that. And it works more than good enough for me. So as you can see here, it's around 40 to 60 frames per second. And to me, this looks awesome. All my detail settings on here, they are on Ultra. Um, so that's actually what I have it as. And I'm super, super impressed uh, by what's done here. I mean, it's still amazing to me that this is able to work in Linux. I mean, this is something that's so incredible. And this really shows you, you know, like what Linux is capable of. Uh, when, you know, developers are able to take advantage of what it offers. And it offers a lot. I mean, just look at that. I mean, for me, I'm already like absolutely stunned by how awesome this looks. I really have very little to no complaints. And once again, you know, I'm coming from a person who is not a, you know, a serious uh, modern gamer. But this type of stuff is what I really want from Linux. I want more modern games at this caliber on Linux. And I know that's asking a lot, but this really shows the potential uh, of what we can get, you know, and so we don't have to be left behind. So I really have to give a lot of credit to the entire team uh, who developed this, you know, primarily uh, the wine people who developed this Proton, and definitely for Valve for bringing this over to Linux gamers, you know, they didn't have to because Linux is not a big market for them, but I really feel that it is something that is growing. So hats off to that. And uh, just to let you know, I am not great at Doom. <laughs> I wasn't even great at the original Doom, but man, look at this. This is so sweet, man. I'm, I absolutely love this game. I've never played this modern game Doom before, but now that I'm able to experience this here, it is insane. I mean, I can see why people love this so much. And this is the type of uh, first person shooters I remember playing. And this harkens back to what I experienced <laughs> when I was younger, I, I love this, you know, I love this type of action, it's fast, smooth, and as you can see here, even though I am screen recording as well, the performance still is spectacular to me, you know, as you can see my frame rate, it's anywhere from 30 to 60 at some point, you know, and that's because there's a lot of stuff going on here, and I'm pretty sure if you had better hardware, it'll run even better. But as I said earlier, if I weren't screen recording and if I dropped the resolution down to 1080p, this would run at a solid 60p. And obviously, if I did drop down some of the graphic settings, I could probably get even more frames per second. But once again, you know, for me, that is not something that I need. Uh, having it run this great is just simply mind blowing to me. Oh my God, this is so much fun. And this is the arcade mode. Um, I really suck at this game. I didn't last very long through the campaign. 
So anyways, uh, before I make this a whole Doom episode, I just wanted to show you my experience uh, with Proton on Steam. As you could probably already tell, I absolutely love this. You know, I am so glad that uh, Linux gamers are getting more love. And I really feel this is just the beginning, you know. Uh, there's more and more people, I think, that are actually using uh, Linux as a desktop mm -hmm. operating system. Mm -hmm. And we have to remember that the Linux kernel is on so many devices, specifically mobile. And so it makes sense for them business-wise to, you know, keep putting more games out here because as our mobile software or mobile hardware, I'm sorry, keeps getting better, we're going to get more higher quality games. And so if AMD, uh, Intel, and all these other companies uh, keep releasing these things on Linux, then that'll give them a leg up whenever there's other devices that run on the Linux kernel. And so uh, that is it for this particular episode. If you had any thoughts on this, whether you have tried gaming on Linux through Proton or you had any other ways that you game on Linux, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.